The former finance minister's pledge comes after his rival in the final two of the race to lead the ruling Conservative Party, Liz Truss, accused him of being weak on China and Russia. China state-run Global Times has previously said Sunak was the only candidate in the contest with a clear and pragmatic view on developing UK-China ties. The Daily Mail, which has come out for Foreign Secretary Truss in the race to succeed Boris Johnson, called that the endorsement that nobody wanted. Sunak's proposals include the closure of all 30 Confucius Institutes in Britain, preventing the soft power spread of Chinese influence through culture and language programs. He also promised to kick the CCP, Chinese Communist Party, out of our universities by forcing higher education establishments to disclose foreign funding of more than £50,000, $60,000, and reviewing research partnerships. Britain's domestic spy agency MI5 would be used to help combat Chinese espionage, and he would look to build NATO-style international cooperation to tackle Chinese threats in cyberspace. He would also study the case for banning Chinese acquisitions of key British assets, including strategically sensitive tech firms. Sunak claimed that China was stealing our technology and infiltrating our universities at home, propping up Vladimir Putin abroad by buying Russian oil, as well as attempting to bully neighbors including Taiwan. He hit out at China's Global Belt and Road Scheme for saddling developing countries with insurmountable debt. They torture, detain, and indoctrinate their own people, including in Xinjiang and Hong Kong, in contravention of their human rights. And they have continually rigged the global economy in their favor by suppressing their currency, he added.